Hello everybody and welcome back to Nintendo Flips. My name is Jens. So we're back at it again talking about used games, systems, accessories, action figures, whatever we can to go ahead and build that 3DS collection back there by using as little of our money as possible. So guys, today is a little bit of a different video. Uh, every time that I buy a bunch of merchandise and uh, get it over to the US, I have somebody help me package my things, make sure that they are packaged well and that they get sent to the right people. So usually this person, I give him a little bit of uh, money for helping me out. So uh, this time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use some of his profits or some of the money that he has earned for helping me out to buy a bunch of things uh, from Chen Yu so that he can go ahead and flip those items and then go ahead and maybe double or triple his money. So we're gonna use a little bit over a thousand dollars to buy a bunch of random stuff that I think will do well for him. Uh, will it? I don't know, but I think I made some good items. I picked some good items, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. But before we do that, I did pick up a new cool jacket. Got this from uh, Insert Coin. I uh, found it on the app Shen Yu. Uh, this one usually sells for about, uh, I believe, $100, but this one here, I got it for $30. It's a really good. It's from Yakuza. Huge fan of Yakuza, so I, I like the back. And of course, I like these right here. Really cool. Uh, I have this coaster here from Yakuza 6. Um, so it's one of my favorite series. I know the, the game is coming out soon uh, and next month. Uh, actually, this month. So I'm looking forward to picking that one up. Uh, so that was a pretty cool find. Brand new, guys, for $30. I guess somebody bought it kind of small. And for me, it looks kind of small too, but eh, it's not too bad. I'll wear it uh, in the house, keeps me warm. All right, so let's go ahead and get uh, to the items that I bought. So here is spending my friends $1,000 to buy him a bunch of random stuff that he can sell and flip to fund his collection or whatever it is that he's going to do. First thing that I bought is a bunch of these figures. You've seen them before on my channel. It's the um, Legend of Zelda Epoch fi figures. This is Zora Link. Uh, which is uh, this one right here. This one tends to do pretty well on eBay. It can go for $500 to $1,000. Uh, so I picked up a set of three. It includes Zora Link right here. And then this one here is uh, Deku Link. Whoops. Focus, focus. It's in here. Uh, it has a mask. There you go. Maybe you can see in here. It comes with the different masks. Uh, and it would be this one up here right here. Whoops. Zip. This one right here. And uh, the other one would be this one here, the one that not a lot of people like. <laughs> the, uh, what is it, the Goron Link. Uh, he's a lot bigger. This one here tends to do for about, what, I believe about 100 on eBay. Uh, so not too bad. So this one could go for about 100. This uh, Deku Link here can go anywhere from 200 to 350. And again, this one here, the one that's more most sought after, the harder one to find, can go for about, I believe, 500 to 1,000. And for these three figures, I paid about, uh, was it $288 for him? So not too bad. If he's able to sell those, he can definitely uh, triple that investment that he made. So that was the first big thing that I got for him. And now on to the games, guys. So in no particular order, we're just gonna start going through a bunch of these games here. Uh, the first one that I got is uh, Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. I found a seller who had two of them, and then I found another seller who had one of them. So this one, they're all complete. They tend to do pretty well on uh, eBay. I paid two of them. I paid 193 dollars. Uh, sorry, 193 RMB, which is about 28 um, dollars, and they can sell for about 50 or more. This one here, I paid 100 RMB, can sell for about 50 or more. So not too bad. Definitely double up on that investment. Next one, I picked up Asuras Wrath. Uh, this one here, I paid 150 RMB, which is about $21. And then 100 RMB, which is $15. They can go for about 50 a piece. They're in excellent condition, so another good investment. Next thing I picked up are some loose GameCube games. This one here is Mario Party 4. And then we have uh, Mario Kart over here. They're in pretty good shape. Uh, I paid 112 RMB, which is $17. And the Mario Kart can go for about $54 to $66. And the Mario Party can go for $50. So really good investment in these loose GameCube games. And then we're gonna go over to some Wii U games. First one here is Mario Party 10 Sealed. Paid uh, 110 RMB, which is uh, about, what, $15, $16? Could sell for about 51, so good investment on that. We got Wii Party U. This one here paid 184 RMB, $26, can sell for 50. And another good one here is a Wii Sports Club, uh, paid 270 RMB, $38 can go for 75. 
and then picked up two cop two sealed GameCube games, uh, Wave Race. Each one of them was about 105 RMB, which is about $16, and uh, they can go for about 22 or more a piece. They're sealed, so you never know the value could go up in them. So I thought those would be kind of cool to pick up. And then we're gonna move on to some Switch games. First one here is Professor, uh, sorry, Layton's Mystery Journey. Uh, this one here, I haven't seen it uh, for a while, so it's uh, 180 RMB, $26, can sell for 42 or more. Then we got this one here, Gunvolt uh, Chronicles uh, Luminous Avenger 9. This one here, I paid 130 RMB, which is $18, dollars, and sells for 50, so this one's a pretty good one. Another good one here would be the uh, Mario. Uh, what is this? The Mario 3D All-Stars. This one does pretty well. I paid a 266 RMB, which is about $38. Can go for about 80. So that's a good one. And then we're gonna go over to a bunch of 3DS games. First one here is this one here. Paid 200 RMB, which is uh, $30. It is the Kid Icarus Big Box. Has the stand in there, the cards, and the game. And this one can go for about 65 or more. And then I picked up a bunch of loose, uh, not loose, but uh, sorry, uh, regular Kid Icarus games for him. A total of five. Uh, they all come with uh, the manual. They're all complete. And each one of them, I paid different price, anywhere between uh, $15 up to about 28. And they can go for about 45 or 60 uh, like this in this condition. So not too bad. Uh, Kid Icarus will do pretty well for him. And I see that they tend to sell pretty well. And another 3DS game that I found, this one here, uh, Cooking Mama 5. I saw that a brand new copy sold for about $125. So I said, you know what? Let me get, pick up two of these brand new. Uh, the guy wanted uh, about 350 RMB for both of them together, which is $50. And again, if they sell new for about 125, some good profit that could be made from those games. And then from there, we are going to go to some what is this? Uh, PSP, Dragon Ball Z Shin Budokai. This one here is sealed, has, uh, I believe, we have like a little tear right there in the plastic. And then there's like a little crack on the case here, but still it's sealed. And this one here paid about 108 RB, $16, can sell for about 35. And then we got one loose PS uh, Vita Metal Gear Solid HD collection, paid 100 RB, $15, can go for about 45. And then a bunch of other PS Vita games. First one here is Street Fighter X Tekken. Paid 120 RMB, $20, can sell for 36. And I picked up a whole bunch of Metal Gears for him. This game tends to do pretty well for me. So I said, you know what? A game that could do pretty well for him would be this one here. I uh, picked up five copies of the game. Paid uh, about 150 RMB. Uh, which is, uh, I would say, about $26 to, to $25. And each one could sell for about $41 or more. So definitely uh, some good games here. Metal Gear tends to sell pretty well. I sold all the ones that I took home last time, so I, I think he will do pretty well on that one. Picked up a copy of e Salsetta. This one here, I believe, I paid uh, $24 for. Can go for $33 or more. Another game that does pretty well for me is God of War. So I found three copies of it. I paid about 150 RMB each, $21. Uh, one of them was a little more, which was $27, but they can sell for $45 to $60. So good games to have. And then one that I think he got a good deal on was uh, Silent Hill Book of Memories. Uh, I paid 188 RMB, close to $30, can sell for about $75 to $85. So good, good deal there. And then the last little bundle that I picked up from him for him here uh, was one person, he had a bunch of PSP games, he wanted 500 RMB, which is $70. And these are the games that he wanted. There was a few that I recognized, so I picked those up. Here are these. Uh, these tend to do pretty well. Another Road tends to do for like about $50. Uh, this one goes for about $20, and then this one could go for about $80. So definitely a good investment on these games. They're all complete. And even this one here, that is Japanese, I've seen it sold uh, recently on eBay for about $25. I believe maybe he can just bundle these other ones. Whoops, sorry, bundle these other games here and just uh, somebody will end up buying them. They're all complete. They have their manuals inside and I think they're in pretty good shape uh, with all the big uh, heavy manuals that used to come in these type of PSP games. So not too bad, guys. I got him a bunch of really cool stuff. I think he will be happy. I think that he can definitely double his investment on all that stuff. 
as you can see guys, there's just so many awesome things that he got. There's definitely uh, some good value in those uh, PS Vita games, the uh, Switch games, the Wii U games. I mean, there's definitely profit there. He'll be able to double his money uh, and more, and then he'll be able to go ahead and buy more Switch games for that collection that he's building or anything else that he wants to build. And right now, as I was filming the video, one uh, last item came for him, which was this um, Nintendo GameCube controller. I ordered it and it just came in. It's kind of smashed. Uh, the, 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 the packaging is kind of beat up here. As you can see, it's missing a piece of the corner. Uh, it's just kind of bent like right here, but it's brand new. The controller seems to be in really good shape. I don't see any scuffs or anything on the controller itself. So um, paid 188 RMB, which is about, uh, I would say, close to $30. And I mean, these can sell for about $100 new. So I don't know what he's gonna list it for. I don't know what a person's willing to pay for this since it's all beat up. But one last item right before we close the video. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think. What do you think? Was that um, some really cool stuff that I picked up for him? Hopefully uh, he'll be happy with all the amazing stuff that we found. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, ring the notification bell, guys. And until the next video, I'll see you again.